Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to give all of you an update to share what's going on. If you're expecting a house hunting or apartment hunting video, this is probably not going to be the video. Um, just got some pressing news, I guess. Uh, just a couple days ago, we found out something about the baby, about the pregnancy. Michael got a call from the doctor and well let me just show you so i got a call from the hospital and they told me that uh, my test for ninshin tonyobyo yeah. was bad so like i have to go back there again and check um like a detailed test that might have a bad effect on the baby like i don't really care about me but like the baby might have like funny face or like have disease or that kind of stuff and like also like if i'm high on blood sugar that means baby is gonna have the same uh, blood sugar as well which is really bad so like the baby might be like super huge and i can't give like a regular birth or, like i might have to any teosekai so i don't want to do that as well but so, so when do you have to go to the doctor in a couple days on uh, monday yeah uh. Not good news, huh? No, and like I was just doing the research and like it seems like there's people who failed on the second test yeah. and they had to be in a hospital for 10 days and like they're gonna teach you how to eat and everything and like you're gonna have to like buy the thing to check your blood pressure no the no blood pressure sugar level? sugar level, yeah, yeah and like you have to like put the needles and that kind of stuff and I don't it would be the worst if I have to change the hospital. Like, it was hard to find a hospital. <sighs> we'll get through it, don't worry. I hope so. So basically what that means is that Michael's first test came back from the doctors and it says that she has high blood sugar, which means she has a chance of having gestational diabetes. Um, we don't know for sure right now, so we're gonna go in today, this morning, and get a second test. Um, I'm a bit worried, a little bit devastated, just because it just means there's, there could be possible complications with a baby and with Myco. From what I understand, just reading up on it a little bit, um, the baby could be born premature or there could be some complications like type to diabetes in the future. The baby could be a little bit larger than normal because they're not able to process the insulin because they're feeding off of Michael's body. Yeah, there's just a whole slew of complications that I don't really fully understand, but just kind of makes me worried. Um, she is in her third trimester. I don't know, I'm just kind of worried, but um, yeah, I'll take you along for this fun ride today. We'll go head to the station now. So we're on our way. It's kind of a bit nerve-wracking to see how the tests are gonna come out, but I don't know. All I can really expect as a father is to have a healthy baby and a healthy wife. So it's a bit overwhelming at this time. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I just need to do a checkup, and now I don't even get a result today, so. I think Mike is less worried than I am. I'm just hungry. So in order to take this test, she can't really eat in the morning. Here's the mask situation. Oh. So we are back from the hospital. It was a few hours to a couple hour. Two hours. Two hours. Yeah. So we were two hours in there. Michael had to take a several blood tests. It was like total three. Yep. Three tests. And so when the doctor had called initially, uh, they actually didn't give us the, her numbers. And so today they released her numbers and it looks like you are at like 157, right? 158. 158. Um, this is for your blood sugar. And you can I choose the number if you want. Oh. Oh. Michael has this nifty binder here. Where did you buy it? Amazon. Amazon. 
I'll leave a link if you guys want it. <laughs> yeah, so I think her glucose levels were like at 157 and the normal, I believe is supposed to be like 140, like is the highest, which apparently it's changed. Um, if I understand it correctly, is back in the day, um, she wouldn't have actually tripped the, the sensor or the um, cutoff point. Um, but the, yep. what they've done is they've actually made the cutoff point a lot stricter these days, yep. meaning that um, they have to take a second test, which we did today. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, we don't actually get the results until maybe another like couple weeks or so. Uh, huh? We get it in two days. Oh, wow. And okay. they said that um, if I don't get a phone call, then I pass a test. If I get the phone call, then I didn't. And they uh, are going to make me go to another hospital for Tonyo Bio, Tonyo Naika. Okay, so so basically meaning that if she does fail the test, then we'll have to go to a specific doctor that handles um, diabetes, and then we'll have to kind of work with that specialist. He has a long experience in this field, yeah. apparently, and um, back in the days, there's a lot of people at the number as I have right now, and they're completely healthy, and those are the people who pass the test. So I'm like, ooh, I'm like not that serious. And he was like, um, even though this number is this, um, you don't really have to worry about it. So she just has to change her diet. Um, but it's weird because they don't know what causes it aside from... Okay. It's usually genetic. Yeah, it's usually... Or just in your blood. Yeah, you can't really prevent from that happening. Like yeah. sometimes even though you're eating the same thing, like two pregnant ladies eating the same thing, but one causes the yeah. diabetes, so... Yeah, I guess it's, it's fairly common. Um, one out of eight yep. women get it. It sounded like even if you have it now, after the pregnancy, your like levels go back to normal. No, usually. usually, usually, it's just right now. So yeah. Anyways, like I was a little bit worried. It's kind yeah. of my first time being a dad, and I really want like more than anything, more than anything, aside from like having you know a good-looking kid or athletic kid mm. or whatever. I just want a healthy yeah. boy, right? Healthy, health is the most important thing. Yeah, and I don't care if the kid can do anything; it's fine. Yeah, it's healthy. We're, I mean, we're doing all we can to prepare for his new life, but mm. we just want to make sure that you know he comes out healthy. And uh, it, was, it was a bit scary, especially when the doctor didn't tell us the levels. They're like, because they tell you On over the, the phone. phone. They're yeah. like. You need to come in. Your levels are so serious, Really? I yeah. was on the phone. No. Yeah. The nurse. I talked to the nurse, and yeah. the nurse wasn't that serious. I don't know. It was serious in my head. I was like, no. after you told me, right? It's just the nurse was kind of like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, you have to come back in again, and like as soon as possible, and you, we have to get the, you know, the. They got the blood like three times. It might hurt. I'm sorry. Like she was just like that. Yeah. So I think. We're good for now. Um, Hopefully. Yeah, and... Well, at least, you know, like I read a lot of stuff online and like a lot of the people who got this um, diabetes thing, yeah. um, they couldn't give a birth at the hospital they wanted to because they didn't have support. Oh. So I'm like, oh my God, if I didn't pass the test, I can do the Mutsubunban and I can't do... Like, yeah. You know, like you, you never know what's going to happen. And then I asked and he said, oh, you're fine if you can just... You can give a breath here. It's a very, how do you say, uh, limited here in Japan. Like if Michael has to move now, which is seven months, a lot of the hospitals there's, don't actually offer it. There's so. no chance I can get into any Mitsubishi. Like I registered or like I applied yeah. when I just found out that I had a, had a baby, and yeah. a lot of hospitals are already closed or like full. So yeah, that was crazy. Um, screwed. <laughs> Yeah, and speaking of uh, the births, like, I think, how much is the birth gonna cost for us? Uh, total? To yeah. give a birth? To give the birth. Just give, give yeah. the birth. Yeah. Like, around Hyakuman? Like, oh, a so million yen, probably? Yeah. Oh, that's a million yen, probably. <laughs> so, so, for this place, um, it's gonna cost a million yen, which is roughly around $9,000. The government will cover some of it, and because we are in Shibuyaku, 
I think they cover about how much is like four thousand, five thousand dollars. So dollars. Shus- they have like a shusan ichijiki, which is yeah. support for like yonju ni man toka san man toka. Yonju ni man. So that's roughly a little bit under, dollars. yeah, a little under four thousand dollars. And support. since we're in Shibuya, you get extra juman. So an extra hundred thousand. So which is like nine hundred dollars. So we're a little bit lucky. If you're in Minatoku, you get another Juman. Yeah. So it really depends on where, like, what ward you live in. Uh, it's not all the same. So Shibuku is like decent mm. compared to a lot of other places. That's why we still want to live here. Yep. Whereas um, some other wards are not as good, and some of, like Bunkyoku is like one of the best apparently. That costs aside. So basically, we're gonna still have to pay another five hundred. No. Another four hundred thousand yen, yeah. right? So which is you know around under four thousand dollars. That's because we're doing the painless birth, so we're gonna have to pay for that. And then on top of that, you have to go to the clinic, and it's like once a month early on. But then as you get closer to the pregnancy, it's like twice twice a month, right? Or every two weeks. Yeah, yeah, if not more. And then if you have complications like Michael's been having, then we have to go. Even more, and like for example, today, how much did it cost? Uh, today was covered by insurance, so I only pay like sixteen hundred yen. But okay, sixteen. Um, the last time the check was like some month, so thirty thousand yen, forty thousand yen. So I w- I would say like it was between like thousand yen to like four thousand So between eight thousand to forty thousand yen. So between like seventy dollars and four hundred dollars, yeah. yeah, and that's like once a month and then twice a, a month. A lot of money. Yeah, and that's you don't we don't get any government support. Uh, yeah. we are we are getting it, and then this is how much we pay. If okay. you give this lit, then you get the discount. This is like a discount tickets. Okay. But so I don't know how exactly how much I'm getting. So these are basically coupons that you get, yep. and then you give them one each time. But we still have to pay like 40,000 yen for that hospital visit with a coupon. At the end of the day, or at the end of the pregnancy, not only do you pay for the birth, but you also pay for all the clinic visits that aren't covered by insurance completely. Like, I wonder what people do that... Uh, the is, hospital I go to, we go to yeah. is not the cheapest place. It's a private clinic. Yeah. And... I think like a local, you know, Hospital? some yeah, local ones or like sambasa mitai, not you know, like the ones that um, just like old lady give a breath for you kind of thing. Then I don't think you need to, you know, like those like, not you know, old lady gives a, like no, a, like old experienced ladies, nurses. They're not nurse. But they have license to give a birth or something. I forgot. Uh, I don't think uh, they they specialize in giving birth. So like if they have like problems, then you you can give a birth there. So you sh- you're gonna get sent to like big hospitals. And stuff. Got it. But I think they're cheaper. So would you rather have painless childbirth and pay some money, or save a lot of money and go through all the pain? Right, that's kind of the option. Yeah. So I think um, that's the update for now. I did read some of the comments. I did like yeah, there was this one comment about setting up a kind of like a baby shower thing so we'll probably oh. we'll probably do something do like that? that i don't know someone mentioned that we can set up a list on amazon maybe yeah. uh, i don't know maybe we'll, we'll try to work something out for all of you I don't know for. yeah neither have i is it only in the state would that be weird if i said i did <laughs> is it like only in like amazon.com or like do they have it in japan too I, I think like Amazon it. Japan would have it. Oh, you think so? I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. That, and then we got a lot of messages about the diaper genie. Thank you, everyone. It was weird, though, because some people said that, you know... Oh, the diaper. Yeah. Uh, and it was like, some people said, like, yeah, they used it, but then the cartridges were really expensive, and then they, like, stopped using mm-hmm. it. And then some people were like, yeah, I, I couldn't do without it. Um, mm-hmm. One person commented that they took plastic bags like ziploc maybe that were scented and then they would put it in there and then i mean like not using genie yeah, yeah not using the genie and like nullify the mm. 
the, the scent and the smell. Yeah, continue to send us your comments, your questions, and we'll try to answer them here. Oh, and people actually had questions about your pelvis. Mm, yeah. Uh, question about like how, what kind of questions? Like what happened to it? Like what? Like how do you feel now? So I had those pain two days straight all yeah. day, and I couldn't walk. Like I can barely walk to the bathroom and like if I go to the bathroom it hurts so like it was just painful all day long but like after that I was fine and I talked to the doctor today about it and he said um, if it's serious it just gets worse and worse mm. but like since you look fine today uh, he didn't think it was a big, big problem all right so hopefully next video will continue the house hunting, apartment yep. searching. Still haven't found it yet, still haven't locked it down. But we'll do that in the next video. So just as long as Michael stays healthy and we don't have to report anything along these lines, then, <laughs> then, then we're good. So, so yeah, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and we'll catch you guys in the, the next, next one. one.